I like to present a key position in the Hikaru Nakamura Magnus Carlsen match, play part of the Crypto Cup knockout quarterfinals. This is part of the Champion Chess Tour. It's white to play. I will just mention that black has secured the bishop pair, but the king is stuck on e7 for the moment. White has developed pieces, quite active, but the question is what's the plan now? How do you move forward? Pause the video if you have to, and this is how Hikaru demonstrated his Grand Master level. This is absolutely amazing how he played here. So if you fought on this position, a natural move would be 96 check. The king comes back here. Now you have no way to infiltrate with the rooks. So maybe you could try to get the queen here. If you play bishop f3, king g8, and you're not in time to take advantage of the king. So here the position is about equal. So that's not it. Let's go back here. You could try to attack the rook, which is probably a good move, but the rook comes back here. And you don't have the square on c6 to do a fork that you had before. So interesting, but not the move Hikaru played. And got master class move, bishop f3, played by Hikaru. He's retreating the bishop, but what is the idea behind that move, well, you have two threats. First one, queen h7. Second one, Nancy c checks. You're taking advantage of the king here. So Magnus decided to prevent queen h7. And this is why. If you play king f8, then I come back here and I'm threatening queen 96, sorry, and queen h8 checkmate and if you take i take and i'm rolling the pawn forward another possibility for black is to take on d4 because that knight is dangerous but then as you can see here the problem here is like that pawn is rolling forward and this one is weak so after the king move back your rook is attacked but here with white you have a winning advantage you have this move, you can come here, here, and you have an overwhelming advantage for white. So going back here to avoid that pressure, g6 played. And here again, can you find the grandmaster move? Hikaru played queen d2. Again, he's threatening the check, but not doing it yet, and threatening h6. And if you move here, then you have queen g5, and you also have 96 queen g5 and the winning position. So in this position, Magnus took the knight and played bishop g4 to try to exchange pieces. But the, as I said before, d5, and you have a crushing position, check. And here, Carlson played rook e6. This position is locked for black. The king is right in the middle. This d6 pawn is extremely strong. The queen's gonna come in. The rook is active. You cannot survive that with black. Now I'll go through the rest of the game. And now white collects the pawn. Check first. Black is trying for counterplay, but a queen sack and d7 threatening d8 and white as an extra rook after promoting to a queen so black resigned this position so i like to come back here and this is really really interesting to see how grandmaster solves the position here where black was close to equality just needed one move to come here maybe another move to secure the king and potentially having the bishop pair but the play by bishop f3 followed by queen d2 was really, really stellar. Outstanding performance and well-deserved win by Hikaru. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment, a like, or subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.